Hi folks, welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. I'm making this video here to uh, provide some examples of uh, solving equations uh, with radicals in them. So the examples we're going to look at, we're going to look at numbers 10 and 26 on page 200 in your uh, algebra text. So this first animal here, square root of 2x minus 3 equals 5. So when we're solving these things, the first thing we have to do is we've got to get rid of this radical here. And the way you get rid of a radical is by squaring both sides. So, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and write this out. And when we square the square root of 2x minus 3, what we get is 2x minus 3 equals. And on the right hand side, when we square 25, or I'm sorry, when we square 5, we get 25. A little early in the morning here, I guess. 25. So, the idea of squaring both sides is how we make radicals go away. Now we just solve the resulting equation here. So we would do that by adding 3 to both sides. All right, next line is going to be 2x equals uh, 25 plus 3 is 28. And then we'll divide both sides by 2. So x equals 14. Now, you always want to make sure that your solution, uh, you know, what, that you get, uh, works in the original equation. So remember that original equation has a square root 2x minus 3. Notice that if you put 14 here, you get 28 um, minus 3, which is 25. Square root is 5. So it does work. Uh, and that's how we're going to check our answers here. So solution to number 10 here, 14. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Now, number 26 here, we've got this radical. And what the equation looks like when you square it is important. Uh, take notice of this. If I squared both sides right now, and then 0 squared, we'd still have 0 squared on the right, but this would have to be foiled. And if I foiled it, if we multiplied it out, what we would end up with is 2x plus 5 minus 6 times the square root of 2x plus 5 plus 9. I'm getting this by taking 2x plus 5 square rooted. Actually, let me just write it out by doing this. And foiling. The first term would give me this. Outer term and the inner terms. Oops, outer term and inner term would give me this. And the last term would give me the 9. Now, we'd still have a 0 on the right hand side. What you need to realize is that we would still have a radical here if we square this equation as it sits. So it wouldn't do us any good. So what we're going to do instead of squaring it right now is we're going to add that 3 to the other side first. This now will work when we square both sides. You always want to isolate the radical before you square both sides. Otherwise, the uh, radical won't be gone after you square it. So at this point now, we square both sides of the equation. The square root of 2x plus 5. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> squared. If you take the square root of 2x plus 5 and square it, you get 2x plus 5 equals. And 3 squared is 9. Then we would subtract 5 from both sides. And again, notice that that adds to 0. Divide both sides by 2. And we get x equals 2 out of that. So checking it here, if we put a 2 right here, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is 9, square root it is 3, minus 3 is 0. So we're good. All right, so um, here's an example of. Um, how to solve equations that have radicals in them. I hope that that demonstrates that all right for you. Have a great day.